I don't know why I had never seen Meet the Robinsons, given that I'm a massive Disney fan. I'm, I'm quite ashamed by that, but I'm really glad that I've finally seen it because I thought this was absolutely fabulous. And there are, there are various reasons for this, and the film isn't the most well-loved. It's got 6.8 out of 10 on IMDb, which is a really respectable rating. But generally speaking, when people name their favourite favorite Disney films, Meet the Robinsons isn't always high up there. But I actually adored it. There were one or two moments that I thought were unnecessary, over the top, trying to trying too hard, which I will discuss. But for the most part, I thought it was adorable. This was released originally in 2007, directed by Stephen J. Anderson. The voice cast is not usually it's, it's not the, the caliber that we usually get from disney the talent absolutely but in terms of noteworthy names not so much i don't know if this was a budgeting issue or if they just genuinely hired the best voices and they just happen to be names that are not as well known as some of other disney names but nevertheless i have absolutely no complaints with the voice cast and this centers around a young boy called lewis who is in children's home he has had over a hundred adoption interviews and not one set of parents or parent has wanted him and he feels this and the reason that he hasn't been adopted is because he is quirky he loves science he's always messing about with inventions and that gets him into some sticky situations he is considered to be an unusual child i find a bit of a kindred spirit with him not in terms of the inventions i don't invent things but you know that kind of outcast um always looking for something in life that validates you in his case it's it's a family never quite finding it and always feeling shunted and one day he meets this individual this slightly older boy who claims to be from the future and uh this older boy wesley actually takes uh Wil wilbur sorry played by wesley singerman wilbur takes him back to the future with him and Lewis gets to experience what the future is like. I do think they went a bit over the top with the future. There are a lot of things in this that are obviously futuristic, they're meant to be very unusual and very different to what Lewis is used to, but I think they maybe went a little bit overboard every now and then to the point where you didn't really get a chance to focus on anything in particular. It does give it vibes of kind of, it's very odd, there are a lot of oddities and that's the vibe you get, but maybe a little bit too much. And then when the dinosaur plays a part, I thought that was a step too far as well. I'm not going to say why that happens or what the relevance is, although the dino aspect does have a deeper meaning, which I won't say anything about. But I do think maybe bringing the dinosaur into it was a little bit gimmicky and a little bit unnecessary and they're trying a bit too hard. But aside from that, the scenes that are in the future I kind of liked. Um, you know, they worked really well. The characters we met, we met were lovely. Lewis's experience there was really mm -hmm. heartfelt, and there are certain characters who are quite interesting. What I will say is, if you haven't seen this and you're going to watch it, do not Google the film first, because I learned something about one of the voices. There is actually one particular. Um, voice cast in this who is a very strong name and um, who I love I won't say who it is because I don't want to encourage you to google it but don't because it will spoil something um it'll it'll spoil a twist there are several twists in this and I was really surprised by that and I think maybe that's why some people don't like this because the twists themselves do feel a little forced they don't necessarily feel like they develop organically sometimes I feel like they were a bit too obvious and then sometimes I thought they were completely out of the blue with no real foundation so i'm kind of on the fence with how i feel about those but it did keep things interesting and of course the true thing is will will lewis ever find happiness will he ever get his family will he ever find his place in the world and i'm not going to say what happens of course i'm not but i think his character is brilliant i absolutely love his character as an individual i think he is great um the naming of the character, which I can't say anything else about, but the, the naming of the character I thought was also quite forced. That's one of the bits that felt really unnatural, and I'm sure you'll know what I mean if you've seen it. If you haven't, 
hopefully you'll know what I mean when you get to it. It's a really sweet film. I really liked it. I thought the animation style was brilliant. I thought the narrative itself was a lot of fun. Lewis as a protagonist, I really liked. Voice acting, spot on, animation design, really pleasant. Yes, it tried a little bit too hard. It did try a bit too hard. And sometimes that makes it feel just a bit ridiculous and hard to take seriously as a quality piece of cinema. But when you're not in those moments, it's really thoroughly enjoyable. And sure, it took me a good 15 years to see Meet the Robinsons. But I'm glad that I finally saw it because it is absolutely adorable. <laughs>